Hey everybody, welcome to Tour Validated. My name is DJ Lance, joined by Chris McCormick, and today we are gonna be talking about a topic that's pretty interesting to me, and hopefully to you guys, it's driving irons versus hybrids. Now, me personally, always been a hybrid guy. Whenever they came out, went right into the bag and I haven't looked back, but you know, maybe it's time to start looking into a driving iron, see if there's some benefits for me. What about you? So, I mean, it's, it's interesting that you are a hybrid guy. Yeah. So on paper, the hybrid player is typically gonna be that player that needs a little bit of help with forgiveness in the long iron replacements, and also needs a little bit more height, a little bit more spin. Mm -hmm. So driving iron, characteristically, gonna be more for the better player, a little bit more speed, and we both kinda don't necessarily fit that mold right. because you're a hybrid player, but you have the lower index, you've got the speed, and you have that kind of golf pedigree background. Me, I'm a little bit higher index, don't have the speed that you've got, and I can't hit a hybrid generally to save my life. I'm interested to give it another try today, mm -hmm. but I'm a driving iron guy. So we're gonna put these things to the test, and we'll see what you do with a driving iron, and we'll try to see how that hybrid works in my bag again. Well, let's do it. First up, we have my Ping G410 Gamer Hybrid. Now this has spent about two years in my bag, and there's a reason for that. It's been very good to me. As you can see, it has some wear and tear on it, some cart path shots, maybe some desert shots, all kinds of stuff. It's a hybrid, so we use it for everything. So we're gonna hit some shots, see how it performs, and then we'll bring in the driving iron to see how it performs against it, see if there's any improvements, and talk about it. So, only thing left to do is hit some shots. So as we kind of talked about in our intro here, Gamer for me is going to be Titleist U505 driving iron. Longest iron I have in the bag is 5 iron, so transition into the 4 at 22 degrees here just gives me a little bit more launch and spin than what I found with the iron that kind of progressed through the set. Oh, in the past, haven't had success with a hybrid. We'll get a baseline with this and compare. I'm curious to see if we can beat this guy today. So for the driving iron aspect of this test, we've decided on the Titleist T200 3 iron. The loft is going to be very comparable to what I'm hitting in my hybrid, so should get a nice apples to apples comparison. We also stayed very similar in the shaft, so we'll see how it goes. It's not a club that I've played in the past, as you know, so we'll see if it does anything, if there's any benefits, so let's not waste any time, we'll get into it. So we saw some interesting numbers with yours. As I'm jumping in here with this hybrid, there's not a lot of confidence just from you know, past experiences and a little PTSD with these guys. So having all of that weight down towards the heel and most of these have a tendency to be a little draw biased. I did put together a stealth, a little twist face action, try and combat that a little bit. So curious to see if it can get that, uh, that driving iron out of the bag. So DJ, putting a bow on this guy here, I mean, it, kind of as we predicted before we started shooting, there's probably not gonna be much movement in the bag as it sits right now, which kind of interesting, because as we touched on before we got into this, hybrid, a little bit more suited for a player of kind of my demographic and skill level, and the driving iron would generally be more club that would be in your bag. Right. And taking a look at some of our data here, I mean, consistency that I saw much more predictable, repeatable ball flight in the current driving iron, mm -hmm. and hybrid had a little bit of a two-way miss. Now, there might be some bias in my end with the, uh, the previous experiences with this club right. and the fear of going left, so the overall dispersion pattern I saw was little miss to the right. 
just a lot more confidence here and the consistency of impact and the ball flight and dispersion downrange staying in the bag. Yeah, as I watched you hit that, I could tell how much more comfortable you were with the driving iron, but also the dispersion was so much tighter. And when you have the distances that we're hitting these clubs from, the last thing you want to do, especially going into a par five or trying to hit a tight fairway is miss or have a two-way miss. So it's a club you really want to be confident in, one you feel like you can do a lot with. So 100% agree with you, the data speaks to it. As for me, as you mentioned, we're not making any switches. This hybrid's been in the bag for some time and we're going to keep it there. Although I did really like this T200 driving iron, it did accomplish a lot. And I was very impressed with the way it did launch because kind of my stigma with the driving iron is it's one dimensional, it only goes low. This had no problem getting in the air, but it just wasn't as consistent as my hybrid. My hybrid launched a little higher, descent was a little bit better, spin was a little bit more controlled, a little bit further, fits that gap in the bag. And a little nugget I'll share with you, this here, I get up and down a lot around the greens with this thing. So this is very dangerous. It's the utility club. Yes, so I use it a lot around the greens. I have no shame saying it. I'll pull a head cover off when we're by the green. Maybe one of these days I'll share it with you guys on this channel, but for now we'll keep that one a secret. Fair enough. So if anybody wants any more content, where they gotta go, buddy? If you wanna see more, head to Tour Validated, at Tour Validated on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok's been really fun as I've mentioned. And then obviously make sure to like and subscribe on this video. We'll be doing more tests. If you have anything you wanna learn more about, any products you wanna see, make sure to leave in the comments below. We'll see you next time.